Hi, in this video I'm going to find the second derivative of a parametric function. So this can be sometimes tricky, but I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. So we have a parametric equation x equals r cosine of theta and y equals r sine of theta. And we want to find the second derivative of y with respect to x. Now, of course, we know that the second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. Now, let's first get the first derivative. But, of course, these are parametric equations in terms of the parameter theta. So, to find the first derivative, dy over dx, that's going to be dy over d theta times d theta divided by dx. So, let's begin by finding dy d theta dy d theta. Now, of course, we have this equation y equals r sine theta. r is a constant in this context and the derivative of sine is cosine of theta. r is constant with respect to theta, so I just have it like this. Okay, let's go ahead and find dx d theta. Okay, so r is a constant. Here is the function or the equation for x. So r is a constant and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we have negative r sine of theta. And using these two, I can find the first derivative, dy over dx. That's going to be r cosine of theta times 1 over negative r sine of theta. I hope you can see why I do this. This is dx d theta, but here I have d theta dx, the reciprocal. So this is going to be negative cotangent of theta. So that's our first derivative. Now this is easy to find. Okay. So there we have our first derivative. To find our second derivative, we have to take the derivative of the first derivative. Now, the problem here, though, is that the first derivative with res of y with respect to x is in terms of theta. So, the second derivative, the second derivative of y with respect to x, like I said, is the derivative with respect to x of the first derivative. The problem here, though, is that the first derivative is a function of theta, so we can't just take its derivative with respect to x. Now, of course, you could replace cotangent of theta with y and x using these two equations, but I think that would be a little bit a hard way to do it. So what I'm going to do instead is to take the derivative with respect to theta of the first derivative with respect to x, since this is a function of x. But then I'm going to multiply this by d theta dx. Now, of course, this is not what a uh, uh, chain rule is, but let's assume this and this would cross out. Then we'd actually have the derivative with respect to x of dy dx, which is exactly what we have here. Okay, so I'll just take this to avoid that misconception. Now, I'll take the derivative with respect to theta of negative cotangent of theta. Then I'll multiply this by d theta dx. Of course, d theta dx, we already have dx d theta, so that's times 1 over the negative r sine of theta. Okay. Here we have uh, the derivative of negative cotangent of theta as cosec squared theta uh, times negative 1 over r sine theta. All right, finally we have a second derivative as 1 over negative 1 over r cosec cubed theta. And uh, there we go. I hope you find this a little bit easier and uh, interesting. I will see you in my next math video. Thanks for watching. See you then.